In this video, we look at high-level and low-level languages. Back at the dawn of computer science, computers were vast machines that filled entire rooms. They were better referred to back then as electronic adding machines, and they were controlled by a web of electrical cables. The actual instructions that made up a program were created by using plug boards and wires, and it took days to create a single program. These programs also were often only changed once every few weeks due to how complicated it was. A later iteration of electronic adding machines involved permanently programming the plug boards with a set of around 50 to 100 commonly used instructions. All instructions were entered in sequence, typically written in binary on paper tape. However, writing programs as nothing but zeros and ones was extremely difficult. We clearly needed a new method. Low level languages, like assembly, allowed programmers for the first time to express programs using simple commands, which could then be further translated into machine code. These languages were written for a specific processor and therefore closely mapped to the machine's architecture. Programs written in assembly, therefore, are incredibly efficient. However, assembly language requires a great deal of intellectual effort to use, as it can be difficult to write and understand. Short code is commonly considered to be the first what we call high level language. It used statements expressed as mathematical expressions rather than machine instructions. Source code was not compiled but instead executed via an interpreter every time the program was run. Short code allowed for basic arithmetic, branching, and also calls to library functions. However, it did run about 50 times slower than machine code. Two factors over the years have led to explosion in the use of high level languages, and that's increased processor speed and increased memory capacity. Now, most modern programs are written in high level languages, such as Python, the family of C languages, Visual Basic, Java, and Lua, just to name a few. Assembly languages are still written directly in today, but tend to be reserved for specialist situations like embedded systems and device drivers. So let's compare low level and high level languages. Low level can be thought of as machine friendly. They're very difficult for humans to understand, but easy for machines to interpret whereas high-level languages are what known as programmer-friendly, easy to understand, debug and maintain. Low-level languages require an assembler for direct translation of language instructions, whereas high-level languages require a compiler or interpreter for translation into machine code. Low-level languages are incredibly memory efficient. High-level languages are less memory efficient. In other words, they consume more memory. Low level languages cannot be easily ported from one device to another, whereas high level languages can. Low level languages are machine dependent, whereas high level languages do not depend on a specific machine or given processor architecture. There is very little abstraction when writing in low level languages where there's a high level abstraction when writing in high level languages. Knowledge of hardware is often a prerequisite for writing low level languages efficiently, whereas little to no hardware knowledge is required to write programs in high level languages. That's everything you need to know for the exam. Pause the video and take some notes. Thank you.